What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. Today we are going to be covering the four three hidden gems here in Madden 21. Guys that you can add to your squad that should help out your team or that you can take for a reasonable price and develop into a uh, pretty good starter for your team. Now I want to clarify a couple things at the start of this video because there is some confusion going on um in the past in the last video there were a few guys that i indicated could play the three four or the four three defensive end position and i just want to make it clear that um i'm pretty much purely evaluating these guys based on their statistics and that's one of the things that i think a few people might have been confused on in the last video um you know i'm not really taking their height and weight and things like that into account because those factors have been proven in the past to really not have an impact in madden whatsoever i mean you could take a you know five foot six hundred and fifty pound player and play him at defensive end and if he has 90 strength he's going to play the same as a 300 pound guy with 90 strength so um hopefully you guys can uh, see past that and just see that we're ranking these guys and adding these guys to the list pretty much based on the criteria of their age their overall and guys that you can get for a reasonable price and another thing that i want to talk about uh that seems to present some confusion is that these are players that you can easily access players that you can easily go out and acquire for a reasonable price you know we're not talking about guys that are rookies because you're not going to be able to trade for those guys realistically speaking a team wouldn't trade away their rookies in you know most situations so those are some of the things that i just wanted to address before we hop into it and with that being said let's go ahead and talk about the uh, best hidden gem for three defensive ends here in madden 21 and today we're going to start at the uh, the end of the list uh, the first one we're gonna go back to the Cowboys actually uh, is the honorable mention and as we had mentioned in the previous video Dorrance Armstrong Dorrance Armstrong is a guy that can play both ways he could play three four or four three defensive end and I want to have him in there as an honorable mention type player because he doesn't necessarily fit one you know bill or the other he's not great at one or the other uh, but certainly a player that you could pick up and uh, and kind of develop into what you need him to be now the other thing that I want to say before I get into this video to kind of speed up this video is that most of these players are going to be guys that are either quick because they're four three defensive end so they can they have the speed and the athleticism to, athleticism to get to the quarterback or they have good finesse moves uh, or, or a good pass rush move in general because that is a Four, three defensive ends role is to, to rush the passer primarily so I'm not going to talk about every single player and exactly why they're good for it I just want to go through and identify these players for you so you guys can see them and this will be a quicker process now the next player that we're going to talk about is actually going to be the only free agency and or the only free agent and we're going to talk about the same player that we talked about in the uh, four, uh, three four video and that is going to be Sharif Finch uh, so 24 year old 68 overall out of temple um, very solid player there the next player that we're going to talk about is actually going to be on the seahawks so we're going to go back to the roster and this is going to be a player that was also on the other list for the for the three four defensive ends and this is going to be rasheem green uh, you guys can see his stats you know pretty pretty favorable for a 4-3 defensive end but what i like about him is that he's young at a 23 year old uh, 68 overall so you can develop him into what you want the next player that's going to be able to play 4-3 defensive end uh, is another one that we also mentioned in the previous video which is actually going to be trey hendrickson trey hendrickson a pretty solid player here as you guys can see uh, and young enough at 25 years old that he fits the bill to kind of fit in with what we're trying to do here now the next one and this is a team that had a few of them is actually the Raiders and so the Raiders drafted uh, Clellan Farrell and Arden Key and both of these guys are guys that you could you know potentially try to develop as star 4-3 defensive ends I like what they have to offer and they certainly are players that you can plug in at that position as well um, and then you know in addition to that we also mentioned Max Crosby in the last video Max Crosby is a guy that is very good both ways but one of my favorite players on on 
on either of these lists because of his his attributes and he's a 77 overall uh, probably one of the hardest players to get on this list but I really like Max Crosby a lot he's a fantastic player so you guys definitely have to consider him and like I said in the past video there are certain players that seem to be coded to play better than their overall and Max Crosby is definitely one of those players as with Chase Winovich who is the next one uh, and he's probably got one of the better speeds on this list out of anybody at 85 speed Chase Winovich plays like a monster uh, as a 4-3 defensive end and I highly recommend you guys check him out if you have the opportunity to uh, the next one is going to be on the Panthers and this is a guy that we have not talked about yet and that is Sharif Miller uh, Sharif Miller is a guy that I like a lot because of Brian Burns being in front of him and, and this team drafting Yuter Gross Matos and, and having Kawan Short and Derek Brown they just simply have guys that are available and you could even honestly look at some of the other backups that they have on this team but I like Sharif Miller quite a bit I've used him in the past he, you know you can get him for a very cheap price and so he's going to be you know pretty high on this 4-3 defensive ends list and a player that we have not mentioned yet the next player that I want to talk about is going to be on the Jets, and we're actually going to be talking about Franklin Myers here. Uh, again, another player that uh, that we talked about before, but what I like about him is, you know, not only that he fits the bill with this 23-year-old 68 overall, uh, you know, combination, but I really like his combination of speed and strength. You know, he's not a burner in, in terms of a defensive end. You know, he's not going to get to the, the quarterback super quick, but 79 speed is respectable, and you'll probably get a couple of increases increases if you increase him as a finesse rusher uh, but the the 88 strength is really nice to have on top of that uh, this is a guy that will be able to play both the the pass rush game and the run stuffing game uh, probably effectively and so so definitely a guy that is worth considering there as a 4-3 defensive end now one of the guys that I think is primarily a 4-3 defensive end but we did mention in the previous video is Dwayne Smoot or Dewan Smoot uh, you know another Another guy much like uh, some of the ones that I mentioned previously that has a good combination of all of the physical attributes that you would want in a 4-3 defensive end. Uh, moving on from Smoot, we're actually going to talk about a player that I think is going to be quite difficult to uh, probably actually probably actually grab off of a team which is and I think I'm no I'm not out of order here is on the Washington football team is Montez Sweat um, this is a player that is going to be by far probably the hardest player to get out of anybody on this team and realistically speaking I can't see the Washington football team trading him but man I have to include Montez Sweat on this list because of the 91 speed it is so hard to find a guy that is a genuine defensive end player a 4-3 defensive end that has that type of athletic ability and at 23 years old 77 overall like I said it's going to be really hard to get that guy off of the the Washington football team but you know if you can manage to find a way to get Montez Sweat on your team he's an absolute beast uh, so he has to be included on this team and not only is he a burner he gets 80 strength in this game too which is nothing to slouch uh nothing to uh you know uh i can't think of the word that i'm looking for but nothing to uh you know laugh about i guess is what i'm trying to say but montez sweat has to be high on this list if the if there's anybody on this list that you can try to find a way to get, you have to go for Montez Sweat. Now, another player that I like quite a bit is actually going to be on the Falcons, and that's going to be Dante Fowler Jr. And there are a couple reasons why I think Dante Fowler Jr. is actually going to be available for you guys in franchises. They drafted Marlon Davidson, and Marlon Davidson's 22 years old. He has the potential to be better than Dante Fowler Jr. So personally speaking, with Tack McKinley on the other side and some of these other young guys like John Kaminsky that they have around here, I really have to consider that Dante Fowler Jr. is a player that is available. Uh, you know, if this team is trying to go with more of a youth movement, Dante Fowler Jr. is probably available. And at 26 years old, 80 overall, he presents him himself as a very effective pass rusher I mean yeah he's only an 80 overall but he has a little bit of room to grow and he's another player that I think is coded to play really well he's got a high pedigree and that's one of the reasons why I think he's coded to play well behind the scenes now another guy that I want to mention that's on this team that you know I considered taking off this list considered you know moving him back and forth is Tack McKinley uh Tack McKinley 
The only reason that he's on this list is because he hasn't lived up to expectations for the for the Atlanta Falcons. Now, in Madden, it's going to be hard to get this guy off of this team because they make him so good in Madden. In real life, he's only had a handful of sacks in the multiple years that he's been on the team. He just really doesn't do a whole lot in real life. And so, you know, maybe a Falcons owner is kind of soured on Tack McKinley, wants to move on from him and find somebody else. That could be a reason that you could find yourself a really speed really athletic uh, edge rusher there for you guys and and potentially somebody that could be really well really worthwhile for your franchise now aside from him we're actually going to talk about Kaminsky as well uh, Kaminsky is another guy that you know let's say that the Falcons are are going to keep Tack McKinley and they are going to keep Davidson or maybe Dante Fowler or whatever you might be able to get uh, you might be able to get Kaminsky John Kaminsky off of them and he's one that is you know a lower overall guy at a 69 overall but you know, still kind of has those attributes that you look for in a 4-3 defensive end. John Kaminsky, probably very much available out of anybody on this team because, you know, he's probably the easiest sell out of any of those players. The next player that we're actually going to talk about is going to be uh, Jannard Avery off of the Eagles, and we've talked about a couple players on the Eagles. Obviously, Jannard Avery is one of the guys that, uh, you know, behind some of these other guys like Derek Barnett, you know, and some of these more experienced veterans like Brandon Graham and young guys like Josh Sweat. You know, there are certain guys that could be dealt on this team, and Jannard Avery is one of them, and he presents a very good physical uh, skill set for you guys, and you could develop him into a really good player for you. And then, you know, that's the other player that we have to talk about is Sweat. Uh, you know, Montez Sweat, or, or sorry, Josh Sweat, rather, uh, 23 years old, 74 overall, very fast player potentially available because Brandon Graham is still hanging around and he has potential to be around for a few years for that team so you know if you're committed to the veteran yeah you could potentially develop Josh Sweat behind Brandon Graham but it's going to be hard to find playing time for a guy like this uh, especially with some of the other young guys that are on the team so depending on what this team decides to do with their defensive line you could very much consider trading for a Josh Sweat or a Jannard Avery hopefully I'm pronouncing that name correctly um very good uh, athletic players that could certainly fill in that 4-3 role for just about any team. Uh, the next one that we're going to talk about is actually Ledbetter for the Dolphins, and I feel like this one might be a mistake. I might have... Yeah, this one is this one was supposed to be included on the 3-4 uh, the list. Uh, so, uh, where, where are we at? Yeah, Jonathan Ledbetter. Just had to check my list real quick. I mishappenly took him and put him on the uh, the 4-3 list, but this is a guy that is certainly going to be a good 3-4 defensive end, so uh, if you're you know carrying over from that video, certainly consider Jonathan Ledbetter. 22 years old, 62 overall. A little bit of a slower guy, but a guy that can play that 3-4 uh, defensive end spot decently well. The next guy is actually going to be on the Colts, and that's going to be Kamiko Ture, uh, and I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, you know, with various other young guys around him, like Benogu and, uh, you know, Muhammad. Actually, they don't have a ton of depth here across the defensive line. I did want to, though, mention to Ray uh, as a guy that, you know, this is a this is a guy that the Colts might look at and they might say, ooh, 69 strength. You know, he probably isn't going to develop very well as a 4-3 defensive end. Uh, they might be looking to go with somebody else or go in a different direction. This is a guy, this is a guy that I think is a value find because a lot of people will be scared away by that 69 strength number. Uh, but what I see with him is 80 to 80 acceleration 84 speed 83 agility this is a guy that can really you know get to the quarterback if you you develop him properly yeah he's 25 years old and a 75 overall uh, but I think you could take him and turn him into a, a very uh, viable starter for your team if you put in a little bit of effort on him yeah he has that 69 strength but I personally wouldn't be scared away by that and that's one of the reasons why I think he might be available because te you know teams do or, or people do tend to be scared away by things like that 
The next player that we're going to talk about is on the Chiefs, and we're actually going to talk about Taco Charlton, or uh, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, 25-year-old, 70 overall. This is one of the guys that uh, isn't necessarily the best on this list, but I I very much think that uh, that you could certainly go out and acquire him for for not much at all, to be honest with you, because of the combination of players that they have around him with Frank Clark and then the rookie Dana behind him. Uh, Taco Charlton is a guy that you know isn't uh, isn't high on this list but is certainly going to be out there if you want a guy that's more of a plug and play type of guy you know still young enough that you could potentially develop him into something but you know not the best in the world uh the next guy that i want to talk about is probably one of my favorites on this list and that's uchenna nuosu uh you know 23 years old 78 overall and very rarely are you going to find a guy like this that is is that is potentially going to be available and realistically the reason that he's available is because they have melvin ingram and joey bosa and if this team decides to stick with melvin ingram who is the proven pass rusher for this team and wosu just doesn't have the ability to get the playing time necessary to develop and so personally speaking if i was this team and i made the decision to stick with melvin ingram i would be trying to trade away at chen and wosu as early as possible to get the maximized return for him uh and so it's going to be hard to find a guy like this this has to be one of the top players on this on this list because if you can convince them to stick with ingram and move on from in you find yourself with a very good 23 year old player that has the physical attributes to do what you need him to do as a 4-3 defensive end even a 3-4 outside linebacker which is what he was in last year's roster Uh, a player that is very very versatile and can do a lot of things there on the edge for you highly recommend you guys make an effort to try to trade for Inwosu and then the, the last two players are guys that we talked about in the last video and that's going to be Dermont Jones of the Broncos so Dermont Jones uh, is uh, 69 overall, 23 year old. This guy's going to be one of the slower players on this list, but I feel like he is a little bit tailored to being a finesse rusher on the edge. And then the last player that I wanted to talk about is Sam Hubbard, who, again, as I mentioned in my last video, is one of my favorite players on this list. I know a little bit about him, uh, and certainly more tailored to being a 4 3 defensive end as opposed to a 3 4 defensive end. And this is one of the comments that I got in the last video is that this guy's a little bit smaller as a 200. 165 pounder uh, but realistically speaking he he can play both ways but uh, is really more so tailored to being a 4-3 defensive end so with that being said those are all of the hidden gem 4-3 defensive ends that I identified for you guys that I think that are going to be available and able to help your team so if you guys enjoyed and this helps you guys out in some way make sure you leave a like on the video comment down below with anything you guys would like to see next or any hidden gem guys that you want to add to the list Like I said, I can't fit everybody into the list. You know, I have to pare down this list a little bit and cut certain guys out and kind of keep it to the best players that are there, in my opinion. Uh, So so leave those comments down below with anybody else that you guys recommend. And in addition to that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys have a good night. Enjoy the NBA Finals tonight, and I'll see you guys in the next one.